So we are trying to handhold our clients. What we are saying is this is not the start of a bear market. And the reason for that is if you look at the past, uh, there are two signs that we look for. Number one, valuation. So 1999 PE of US stocks was 25 times. Mm. That triggered a bear market. 1989 Nikkei stocks were trading at 35 times. Today, where are we? We are 16, 17 times. So that is not an indicator for a start of a bear market. Mm. Secondly, inflation. Uh, in the past, normally a bear market is triggered by the Fed raising rates aggressively because they are seen behind the curve. Inflation rears its ugly head. Where are we today? Inflation remains modest, below the uh, 2% inflation target. And the Fed has been raising rates since 2016, eight times. So I think the Fed has credibility. It has been ahead of the curve. And therefore, I think this is a correction, not a start of a bear market. The correction, not the start of a bear market. But having said that, though, you know, what happens when you've got, uh, you know, uh, MSCI Global, half of that is in correction. Half of the DAX in Frankfurt is in correction. Half of the Nikkei is in correction. So correction, as the industry uh, defines it, is 10% drop. Oh, yeah. Bear market would be 20% or more over a period of a few months. So I think we could see another, for example, early this year correction in the order of 10 to 20%, uh, probably not a prolonged uh, correction, which is a bear market. Mm. 10 to 20%, another 10 to 20%. No, we are already down 10, so probably another 10, up to another 10%. Yeah. Up to another 10%. Yes. So would you, does that mean don't go bargain hunting quite yet? I think what we have been guiding our clients is, you know, for our asset allocation strategy, we have been overweight cash. I think uh, for clients who are sitting on cash, this is not a bad time to be re-engaging in the markets. And we do find pockets of value uh, appearing with this sell-off. For example, I, I think China, you know, uh, uh, in the e-commerce companies are down 40% or 50%. Uh, financials are giving you a yield of 6%. Singapore REITs were hit as well and yeah, yielding you 6%. So I think these are some pockets of opportunity out there. Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.